Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Kaz, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a Chrome text animation in Blender, like this one. All right, before we do jump into the video, this tutorial, it is gonna be a bit differently. Um, basically, I'm gonna be providing you with the um, project file, since I'm not gonna go step by step on how I set up the whole scene. Uh, so if you go to my Patreon and you subscribe, you'll have access to that file. You don't really need it. Um, you can go ahead and import your own text, logo, um, do the whole extrusion and make it look similar to what I have if you want, or go ahead and create your own. Uh, but if you want the same exact project file I have, like I said, go to my Patreon, subscribe, and you'll be able to download it and you'll be good to go. But anyways, that being said, let's jump right into the video. So here in Blender, if you do download the project file, you're going to have a background, you're going to have your uh, text. As you can see, it's all individual shapes. Um, since we're going to be um, animating, animating them uh, differently, we have some light set up over here and we have a camera, of course. So um, and then if you go to render view, as you can see, we have a material already selected to the um, text or logo. And uh, we have an HDRI set up over here. Um, which I'm gonna leave a link down below to this. It's on Polyhaven. It's um, free. You can just download it. And then we have a transparent background, um, just because I want an H HDRI, but I didn't want to use the HDRI background. So you add your own background over here. This is why I have this plane set up on the back like so. But anyways, that being said, let's jump right into the animation, which is what you guys are here for. So if you go to camera view and you go ahead and um, slide another window open like so you'll be able to uh, browse around while you have your um, final render over here and you could do this either in EV or um, cycles that don't matter it's just an animation but for the final look I just went for um, EV quick render why not all right so to do this make sure you bring your timeline I have my timeline set at a hundred frames to end at a hundred frames you could do the same or if you want to extend it you could as well um, so what we're gonna do is just make sure you're on your first frame basically we're gonna start by animating the T um, what you want to do is go to the end of the timeline since I already I know that I want my text I want my animation to f end with the text being on screen so the final the final um, frame, which is 100, should be with the T being where it's at right now, at its current location. So go to the 100 frames, go to the object properties down here uh, on, on this side of the screen. It's like an orange box. And then you want to toggle the uh, on the rotation, the Z axis and the Z axis on the location. And you want to pretty much just go ahead to the first frame. You want to bring this up like so. As you can see, you could either look at the at the left screen or the right screen uh, to see the final render. Um, and then you also want to go ahead and uh, type in 360 on the Z um, rotation so that you you'll get a 360. Then toggle these two key, uh, keyframes so that they are yellow. That that way you'll know you actually inserted a keyframe. And then if you hit play, it'll play like this. So you can do, as you can see, just like the uh, preview, it's pretty much just coming into the screen from top to bottom and it's rotating on a Z axis, just like so. So now we're just pretty much go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing for the uh, remaining letters. So again, just go to the uh, last frame, 100 frames, make sure you have your E, letter E selected uh, or whatever it is that you have going on on your screen. Uh, you wanna toggle these two really quick. You wanna go to the first frame again. You want to go ahead and bring this down like so for this one uh, and then you want to type in 360 over here and make sure you insert the uh, both um keyframes and then when you hit play again you'll have the T and the E popping into the screen while spinning at the same time and we're gonna pretty much go ahead and do the same thing for the X uh, so again last frame toggle toggle back to the first frame bring this down like so go somewhere around there um, and then type in 360 and you want to toggle toggle go to the last frame Make sure you have your T selected Toggle these toggle this one go to the first frame You can either do 360 first and then move this up like so 
and make sure you toggle these frames again and that's pretty much it so now um it doesn't look as smooth on the preview and that is because we don't have our keyframes uh as beziers and i also dragged them out on the graph editor to make the whole transition a whole lot smoother so to do that um what you would want to do is make sure you have everything selected meaning all shapes and over here you want to go ahead and click bezier so right click interpolation interpolation mode and bezier go to the graph editor really quick and um what you could do is you could have everything selected make sure you go from uh on the pivot point make sure you go from uh bounding box center to individual center and then just scale it like so and as you can see you'll get something like this and now it's a whole lot smoother. It looks a whole lot better. And um, yeah, and then also when you have when you have your motion blur activated on this and you actually have the animation, it looks a bit more real because you got that whole fast speed going on. Um, and again, this this could be pretty cool. And you could either render you could either render this with a background or you could just render this without a background and then composite it. Maybe you could do it in Blender or you could do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. And you can actually use this text as an intro and you could put it on top of your videos and you know any type of things like that but anyways pretty straightforward video and then just to render i just went to eevee of course i have all these things turned on i play with the bloom a little bit which if you downloaded the project file you should have all that settings already um typed in and then just render render animation and you should be good to go anyways if you guys did enjoy the video please make sure to drop a like down below Comment what you want to see next. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And again, if you want the project file, don't forget, link in bio, my Patreon. But I'm out. Deuces, guys.